What's up, foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. I really, really, really appreciate that. Keep on liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much for all the love. Uh, for today's recipe, we're actually going to be making some paneer paratha. It is a favorite dish of every single vegetarian that's out there. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the paneer paratha. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have... Um, I have about 500 grams of grated paneer here. Again, I'm making food for about four to five people. Uh, so adjust the quantity based on your need. Um, very, very quick, very, very simple recipe that we're gonna have. Um, so all we're gonna do is um, with the grated paneer, we're gonna add about, I have one big onions that's finely chopped. So one onion in there. I have about three chilies that I've finely chopped in there. So I'm adding the chilies as well. With that, I'm gonna add cilantro to it, very, very finely chopped. Uh, cilantro, it's dhania. This recipe, again, it's a very healthy recipe, a lot of protein. So a good recipe for you all in all. Now at the same time, what we're gonna do is, so I'm gonna add some fresh um, ginger paste and some fresh garlic paste. <clears throat> Now, as you have noticed, I'm using more ginger uh, than garlic. Um, since we're not using, uh, since we're not gonna be making it very spicy, the ginger, has, uh, ginger adds that spiciness to it. Now, at the same time, I'm using some amchur powder, uh, some chaat masala. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and use some salt. And we're going to do salt to taste. And just basic ingredients, we're going to use some chili powder. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and add some turmeric powder. And some dhania powder with that and then last ingredient we're gonna do and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some jira powder to it now guys uh, we're gonna give this a good mix uh, one of the things I'll tell you um, so amchur powder for um, for all my friends that's non Indian amchur powder it's pretty much the dried mango powder um, and you can pretty much get them anywhere it just what it does is it would give you that uh, that sourness to the food um, and also at the same time it would add some sweetness of mango to it as well now a lot of this food a lot of the paradas that we're making we want to make sure that we don't use any um, any lime juice to it otherwise it's going to stop it from um, uh, from binding and then you're not going to have the good taste for it so we're going to go ahead and mix this up and then our battery is going to be ready um, and our sorry our filling is going to be ready I have some uh, some ada uh, ada is flour some flour that I have made uh, for this recipe we're going to be using wheat flour uh, so I have some wheat flour that's already I've kneaded the dough for it and then we're going to go ahead and uh, start making the parathas. All right, guys. So our uh, masala is nicely mixed. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and start making our rotis out of it or our parathas out of it. So what I'm doing is I'm going to lightly dust it with flour and then we're going to make a roti out of that. For now the shape doesn't really matter because we're just going to go ahead and put the filling in there and then make a ball and roll it again. So for now uh, the shape of the roti will not really make big of a deal. So we're just going to go ahead and We'll roll it a little bit, add our uh, masala to it and once we add good amount of masala in there, we're just going to seal the roti again. Alright guys, once you um, add the masala to it and once you seal up the top, um, the excess um, flour that you have, you just take off the excess flour and then what we're going to do is we're going to make it flat like that. Um, dust it with the flour very quick and then we're gonna make our paratha. 
And this time you want to make sure you have a nice round paratha. So, once I have my paratha made, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the pan. And then we're just going to cook it for a minute very quick on both sides. I'm going to use some, um, some ghee to fry it later on. And that's about it. Um, but the paratha is going to be ready. Alright guys, so we're going to let it cook for a little bit. Uh, we're going to cook it on both sides. And then we're just gonna very lightly fry it. So we're just gonna add a little bit of ghee to it. Uh, we want to make sure that we slowly cook this and cook it enough, just because um, we haven't uh, we haven't cooked the paneer. So we want to make sure that um, the paneer doesn't taste raw. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook it a little bit, make sure it gets cooked from all the sides. We're going to go ahead and flip it one more time, making sure it's cooked on all sides. And then I have some freshly made ghee. Uh, my mom just made it uh, yesterday or day before yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and lightly add some ghee to it. And then we're going to go ahead and apply the ghee on the whole surface on one side. Flip it over, let it cook for a little bit. And I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit of ghee on this side too, just to make sure it cooks evenly. We're gonna go ahead and flip it. And there you go guys, we have it. Here we go, the paneer uh, paratha is ready. I have one more paratha that's there. I'm gonna show you how to make that one more time. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do the paratha one more time. Just very, very quickly, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna grill it on both sides and then we're gonna add a little bit ghee to it and we're all good. Um, if you're cooking on a high flame, it's not going to take too long. Um, ideally, you want to make sure you cook it on a slow heat. Um, so that way you get even cooking throughout the whole paratha. Um, if you're making food for a lot of people, you can definitely go out and just make it on high flame. Since we are adding a little bit of uh, ghee to it, we're going to be fine. And then once you're, while you're serving the paratha, make sure you add some butter on top of it. Um, I like to use the fresh white butter. Um, you can use the salted butter too if you want to. Totally up to you. Um, my preference is using uh, the white butter. So um, make it your choice. You serve it with whatever you want to. Um, also at the same time on the side you want to give some, um, you want to go out and give some dai. Uh, dai is yogurt. So give some fresh yogurt. Um, also give some um, uh, also go out and give some um, some chutney with it it goes perfect with both of those and we're gonna apply a little bit of ghee to it again and then cook it on both sides Again, as I said, I'm cooking on a high heat, so it's going to go much quicker since I have to make food for five people. I don't have enough time to go out and just sit and cook for everyone. So we're going to make it quick, but also at the same time, we're going to make sure that it's cooked throughout. And we're going to go ahead and flip it. And here you go guys, here we have it. Here is how you make our parathas. So as you know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. Thank you so much for all the love you guys gave me. Thank you for all the share, all the like, all the subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. 
Um, also want to thank my uh, my haters out there too. You know, keep copying me if you can. Um, it gives me a lot of motivation. So thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Keep liking, sharing, subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Have a great day.